Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today I'm going to do something that I always do midway through a project and that is try to get Objective C code to run inside Swift. Every single time I do, I have to look up how I did it before in the past. So I'm going to be showing you how I access the code with me live today. So right now in this beautiful project, I have an Objective C library that I've got from GitHub. This one is from Harrison Jackson back in 20. 13 objective C it's written in I've dragged and dropped it into the project and it compiles as you can see building and it compiles so what I want to do is I want to run one of these functions inside my Swift application here so this is all Swift this is Swift and this guy is objective C so the first thing you need to do is go into your project settings so you click on your project target go inside build settings select all and then search for bridging, bridging, there it is. And you want to get an Objective C bridging header, select that there. So I'm going to go ahead inside my sources, I'm going to create a new file and it's going to be a header file and give it a name. For me, I'm being creative, so I'm going to call it bridging header, create, and you should see it right there. I like to always sort by name to get my code all tidy. So back to the project, go bridging header here. And I'm going to type in sources bridging header. Hit compile, make sure that works. Code has been successfully built. Now I need to include all of the header files I want from Objective C. So I'm going to be importing HJ images to video.h, this file over here, and hit build again. Now I've done that, I'll go back to the file which I wanted to call the Objective C code from. And I should have HJ images to video just like that. Save. I was going to call this function save video to photos with images. And the parameters sh should be exactly the same as before. So I'll uncomment that stuff. And just adapt the code to be Swift rather than Objective C. Fix any compile error. And this is cool. It even auto corrects if you use the incorrect function names. So it's saying here that save video to photos with images, even though that is the function in my Objective C, save videos to photos with images. It has been renamed to save to photos with images. So I'll hit fix and it's done that for me. And there's a comma missing there. And that is it. It is building as you can see. Pretty cool how the auto correction suggestions still work inside Xcode, even though it is dealing with a completely different class or language of code switching between. What is weird though is that it is renaming the functions for you. So save to photos has is the new name from save to photos with images. Let's see if it runs. So boom, it's hit the breakpoint. F7 step in, F7 step in again. And we are now stepping into Objective C. Look at that. Cool or what? Going through the Objective C. It's gonna go ahead and finish this call block. And this crash here, let's see what's happening. It's once an array of images and images. So this crash here seems to be trying to get a CG image and the array is just an NS array CG image. So I think what I've done wrong here is rather than passing the actual UI images themselves, I'm passing the paths, the file name paths to the images. So I need to just be passing the actual image objects so we can get the CG image out of the UI image. No need for all this extra code that I've written. And now the array contains three images. Save video animation. Breakpoint there. Will it work? Yes, we have the CG image. So this function should work. Play success is yes. And we have saved the file. I'll check if it's added the video like I would have wanted to. And look at that. Something is on the screen. So we have successfully managed to integrate Objective-C easily into Swift. I know I added a bit of depth there trying to fix my problem and calling 
the function from the class I wanted to use itself, but I figured those kind of problem solving techniques might also be useful to you because sometimes when you use old libraries, seven years old in this case, you might misuse it incorrectly and there's obviously gaps of knowledge for everyone. So I hope you found this little training exercise useful and I hope I found it useful too because I'm going to forget this information when I have to do my next project. Hope you guys enjoyed the show.